Hi, I'm Harper. Ciao, I'm Eva. If Ava's taught me one thing about Italian food, it's that real, authentic Italian food requires simplicity, which therefore requires high quality ingredients. Ava's become quite the American master shopper, so we thought that today we would take you on a little shopping trip of our own. Uh, my understanding is that you have a dish planned for tonight. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a surprise to me, but we're gonna go to our usual haunts and maybe bring you along, show you behind the scenes of how we do our shopping, and maybe give you a few tips and tricks if you're making Italian food at home. So Ava, are you ready to shop till you drop? Yes, let's go! Andiamo! Our first stop of the day is Walmart. Why? Because pretty much everyone has one in their backyard, and we're here to show you that if you know what you're looking for, you can get some pretty good authentic Italian food. We are the section of pasta, and I would like to give you some tips on how to decide which pasta you should buy. Here we have Barilla, that I know is the most famous Italian pasta, but there is a reason why I don't buy Barilla. As you can see, the color of the pasta is more, it's closer to yellow. And usually in Italy, we try to eat what we call bronze cut, which means that the pasta is shaped by a tool made by bronze that give to the pasta a different color. As you can see, this is more, let's say, white. And when you touch, while this one is very, very smooth, this is more rough and it keeps the sauce much, much better than the other one. This pasta is a very good pasta. You can understand that it's a good pasta because, as we said before, there is written bronze die cut. It's made by, just by one ingredient, as you can see. And also the time of cooking. It's in between 12 and 14, which means that it's a very well done pasta. If usually a pasta takes just like five minutes or six minutes to be cooked, uh, I don't really suggest it. Today I feel very lucky because I found this pasta at Walmart. That is one of the best Italian pasta. And this pasta is what we call in Italy penne lisce. Lisce means that uh, they are uh, smooth, so they don't have the ridges uh, um, like the other penne. Nobody buys penne lisce, but today I want to take a risk. So I decided that uh, I'm going to cook with the penne lisce and give to them uh, the honor that they deserve. And as you can see, it's even cheaper than uh, barilla and all the rest of pasta, so it's a very good choice if you can have it. How I choose my tomatoes to make my tomato sauce? It has to be written as an ingredient just tomatoes. So as you can see, for example, here we have ingredients, tomatoes. So I'm sure that is, uh, this is good for my tomato sauce. Then. If I take this tomato puree, water, citric acid, onion powder, garlic powder, red pepper, and then you have always this horrible taste of, spice, of herbs. Find one that is just tomato. This always made me laugh a lot because uh, we don't have Italian seasoning. We don't use all these herbs together just for one dish. For example, here there is written steer into marinara sauce. And you can find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven herbs. Usually in the marinara sauce we put just basil. Here we have a good example how some company, they don't do a very good job with people because 
Here there is written organic, extra virgin olive oil, first call pressed, Carapelli, Firenze, so you are sure that this is 100% Italian olive oil. But then you turn the label and you read that this olive oil is Italian, Portuguese and Tunisian. So you are not buying for that price a real Italian olive oil, which doesn't mean that this is not good, but it's not 100% Italian. And the same thing is this, that is half the price. And this doesn't seem Italian, but this is the same olive oil that this has. When it comes to cheese, it's better if you go in another grocery shop. Parmesan cheese. This is not Parmigiano Reggiano. Don't make this big mistake. One thing is Parmesan, the other thing is Parmigiano Reggiano. <laughs> This is not Italian. And I know that it's not real and healthy food, but it's, it reminds me one of the best sandwich that I have ever had in my life. So if I have to cheat once again, uh, maybe, maybe. Our second stop of the day is Whole Foods Market. Now, if you've seen this video before, you know that when Ava first came to America, she was a little bit skeptical about Whole Foods and found some of the offerings to be strange. I'm still skeptical. <laughs> but after giving Whole Foods a few chances, she's come to realize that there are a few good things here. One of the things that I really like to get here at Whole Foods is cheese in general because I found out that here they have a better selection than at the local grocery shop. Every time that I'm here I never skip my smoked mozzarella cheese and because I didn't expect that I could find this here. It's a very good cheese that you can use in several ways. You can eat by themselves, you can use for baked pasta, you can use in a salad. I really recommend if you can to get this because it's very, very good. Usually I get a good ricotta cheese. Now it's not real Italian ricotta cheese, but it's the thing closest to my ricotta that I can find here in Maine. Nduya is a Calabrian product and it's a very soft salami with made by pork and just spicy pepper. And uh, all Calabrian people, we are proud of our Nduya. But if you're here at Whole Foods, please skip this, because uh, believe me, it's pretty horrible. It has nothing to do with the real one. So don't buy this, never. Guys, yeah, make your own, it's much, much better. Every time that I'm here at Wolf Foods, I always buy Italian wine because in the normal wine shop that you can find in all America, the price is a, it's a pretty high price. So here at Wolf Foods, you can find a normal price for the American standard, but with a good selection also of Italian wine. This is, for example, a very good wine. It's a Barbera d'Alba, it's a DOC, that in Italy this means uh, that wine is a very good wine. And also it's uh, enough affordable because it's not so expensive. I like red and wet wine in the same way. But I have my own rule when I choose the wet wine. Usually I look for a wine that it has the 13 at least. 13% of alcohol because according to my taste I prefer a stronger 
white wine. It doesn't mean that a white wine with 12% of alcohol is not good, but for my taste, 13 to up, it's better. This is one of my favorite white wine. This is a wine from Campania region. As you can see, is 13 degrees of alcohol, and it, it is a dock. As I said also for the red wine, when you find this, it means that the wine is a very good wine. And it's not so much expensive because the price is just $15 for a bottle. So maybe drink a little bit less, but drink better. Never forget the real Parmigiano Reggiano. It's something that you should have always in your fridge. Our third and final stop for the day is this wonderful little local farm. We're very lucky to have this practically in our backyard, but pretty much no matter where you live, you'll be able to find a farmer's market or something similar where you can get fresh, locally grown produce. Why is it important to buy fruit and vegetables from some place like this instead of a normal grocery store? Yeah, they are for sure um, fresher. Second thing is uh, they are local, which means also cheaper. And the third thing is that uh, they are in season. The product that they offer uh, is a seasonal product, which means better has a taste and cheaper, as I said before. In southern Italy we don't use a lot of squash, but uh, here we are in Maine, uh, so as you can see they produce a lot of squash and different kinds, so I always suggest to use what is uh, local, what, uh, what is in season. So we are going to use this wonderful butternut squash. So we went to Walmart, we went to Whole Foods, and we went to the farm. We have everything we need, right? Yes. Well, I can't wait to find out what we're having for dinner. And I can't wait to cook it. Sometimes uh, you go and hunting hard to find all the things that you need, but it happens that maybe you don't find everything. But luckily, we have Amazon. Well, after our day of shopping, this is quite the nice looking meal to sit down to. A good ricotta cheese a wonderful butternut squash, local, parmigiano, reggiano, uh, some uh, nutmeg, onion, olive oil, the secret, that is the amaretti cookies, and uh, the penne lisce. Buon appetito! Buon appetito! It was worth the effort of going to three different places, and making a little Amazon order. Well, thanks for coming along for our shopping today. If you give this recipe a shot, please let us know. Tag us in a picture on Instagram, at Pasta Grammar. We'll see you next time. Ciao. Ciao.